This is the Roman Catholic version of the Bible. The Douay or Reims version of the Bible. This Bible has 73 books. This is an encyclopedia of 73 books. Seven more than one which Brother Swagat takes oath on. The King James Version. This is the King James Version. He takes oath by it. In his Evangelist magazine, December 1985, somebody questions Brother Swagat about the Bible being the Word of God. And he says, Word of God, and in bracket, I refer to the King James Version. In your Evangelist of December 85, the King James Version. The King James Version has thrown out those seven extra books. Thrown out. In other words, those seven extra books the, Christ, the Protestants do not accept as the word of God. You use certain technical terms like, like apocrypha, which the masses of Christendom do not know. What is this apocrypha? Apocrypha means doubtful, weak, not deserve to be in the book of God. As such, the Protestants threw it out as a fabrication. These seven books are thrown out from here. So this version, the Christian Protestants will not accept as the word of God. Am I correct? This is not the word of God. So we put it aside. I agree with you. What you tell me, I accept. You say it's not the word of God. I say I agree with you and I put it aside. Now you tell me that this is the word of God. The King James Version. With his 66 books. This was first published in 1611. By order of His Majesty King James whose name is still based today. Authorized version, authorized by who? Not God Almighty, by King James. He authorized it. Not God Almighty. Now, it goes back to the ancient manuscripts. I am told, what is ancient? It says four to six hundred years after Jesus is ancient. Now we have access to the most ancient manuscripts. Most ancient. And this Translation here, or version, the RSV, the Revised Standard Version, goes to the most ancient manuscripts. They date from two to three hundred years after Jesus. So closer to the source, the more authentic any document would be, closer to the source. This is common sense. If Jesus, in the time of Jesus, it's, this was written, and he had signed it, autographed it, shh, no questions asked. This is two to three hundred years after, this is four to six hundred years after. So they published this translation, published in your own country here, as well as in Britain, Canada, all these countries, simultaneously you produce this Bible. And we are told some glowing tributes are being paid to this translation. It says here, Church of England newspaper says that the finest version which has been produced in the present century this one, the finest version. Times Literary Supplement says, a, complete, a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Fullest use of the resources of modern scholarship. Life and Works, another publication says, the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with a new accuracy of translation. New accuracy. And the Times, the Times of UK, England, says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They, these publishers of this Bible, the one who got it about first in 1952, they pay some glowing tributes to the King James Version. And I would be disrespectful or failing in my duty if I didn't read those tributes out to you. Why Brother Swaggart loves it and I myself. In every quotation that I will give, I will be quoting from the King James Version. I love the language. Only that now they are doing away with certain terms and expressions. It is not suiting the Christians of the time today. Like for example the quotation my Brother Swaggart ended with, where Paul on the Damascus Road a persecutor of the early Christians going to Damascus and he sees a vision in which Jesus Christ appears to him 
and speaks to him in the Hebrew language. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Why kickest thyself against the pricks? This is the exact quotation from the King James Version. Which brother, Swagat, I don't know why, he used the word goad. I have been asking Christians what is goad and nobody knows what is goad. So they say about the King James Version, the revisers of the Revised Standard Version, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, that the King James Version has with good reason been termed, been termed the noblest monument of English prose. Its revisers in 1881 express admiration for its simplicity, its dignity, the music, uh, its power, its happy turns of expression, the music of its cadences, and the felicities of its rhythm. It entered as no other book has into the making of the personal character and the public institutions of the English-speaking peoples. Said so we owe to it, we owe to it an incalculable debt, the English-speaking peoples. The Americans, the Canadians, the British, and people like me who have adopted English as our mother tongue, I speak English better than any other language. It's not as good as Brother Swagard's, but English happens to be my mother tongue because I dream in English and I swear in English. That makes it my mother tongue, according to the psychologists. <laughs> now, this is the tribute. If somebody paid such a tribute to the Quran, I can't imagine a Muslim scholar bettering it. Now, prepare for the shock. I said, prepare for the shock. From these 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say, yet the King James Version has grave defects. And that these defects are so many and so serious. They are, these are not my words. They are so, they are so many and so serious as to call for revision in the English translation calls for revision and they revised it and in the revision the kingpin of the evangelist the preacher the hot gospeler the bible thumper john 316 no christian preacher is worth the name if he can't clinch the deal with john 316 john 316 for god so loved the world in the authorized king james version that he gave his only begotten son. My brother Swagat changed the word begotten to unique. This is not from the King James Version. The King James Version <laughs> says begotten. I heard brother Swagat on TV, or was it video? This morning, this morning, there he's speaking to a group as if it was his own church group, you know, giving some lessons on Babylon, and I think it was on that or another one, he used the word begotten this morning. And in eight hours time, he changed it to unique. <laughs> I'm asking, are you ashamed of the word begotten? Are you ashamed of it, that Jesus is the only begotten son? In the Holy Quran, we are told, Lam yalid wa lam yulad, that God Almighty, he does not beget and is not begotten. And there is nothing like unto him. Then again, in very strong terms, the Quran condemns this idea that God begot a son. Because begetting is an animal act. It belongs to the lower animal functions of sex. And we are not to attribute such a quality to God. As the Christian says in his catechism, he says, Jesus is the only begotten son. Begotten, not made. And I have been asking Christians, Please explain, what are you really trying to emphasize when you say begotten, not made? What are you really trying to tell me? And believe me, in 40 years, no Englishman with the name has opened his mouth to me to explain to me what this word means, begotten. It had to be an American. It had to be an American. He was on a visit to Durban and he came on a guided tour of the mosque and I happened to be a guide. And discussing it came up I said now what does it mean what are you trying to tell me what is what does it mean to say begotten not made you say it means this American tells me it means sired by God I said what he said no 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 I don't say that this is what it means 